So you'll hold the two targets up. So watch this one so you get the sequence down here. Eyes and head on one target. Eyes move to the other target followed by a head movement. Eye movement, head movement. So the goal is to keep the image crisp, to keep it clear during the head movement. The saccade should not be the problem. So they're making a saccade. That should be fine if they have normal central nervous system function. It's the head movement that follows, where the eyes want to slip and move with the head. All right, so let's give that a try. So eyes and head are on a target. She moves her eyes first, then the head. Perfect. Eyes first, then the head. It's almost like the patient's doing their own head thrust test in a way. Eye movements, then the head movements. So a saccade followed by a head movement. And you can do this in a vertical plane also. So eyes move first, then the head. That was correct. Eyes first and head. So saccade, then a head movement. And you want the targets not any further apart than what we have them right now. Because again, if you put them too far apart, then it's out of her visual field. So eight or 10 inches is fine. Very good. So that's called two target VOR, two target VOR.